Now let's see how to transform any normal distribution to the standard normal distribution. Let's put any normal distribution in the graph and look at five points, mu, mu minus sigma, mu plus sigma, mu minus three sigma, and mu plus three sigma. First, let's do x minus mu. With this transformation, we can see that mu becomes zero. And the other four values become minus three sigma, minus sigma, sigma, and three sigma. This will make the graph symmetric about the y-axis. Next, we do divide by sigma. With this transformation, those five values become minus three, minus one, zero, one, and three. This is exactly the standard normal distribution, n, zero, one. Therefore, by applying the transformation, x minus mu over sigma, any normal distribution becomes the standard normal distribution z. This process is called standardizing the normal distribution. Let's see how we can find probabilities of any normal distribution by standardizing it. x is n, 3, 4. Find px less than 4.5. Here, mu is 3, sigma is 2. Let's do, minus mu over sigma, on both sides of x less than 4.5. Since x minus mu over sigma is z, this becomes pz less than 4.5 minus 3 over 2. That is pz less than 0 0.75. By looking it up in the z table, we get the answer as 0 0.674. Find px greater than 5. By standardizing it, we get pz greater than 5 minus 3 over 2. This is pz greater than 1. It is equal to 1 minus pz less than 1. By looking up the z table, pz less than 1 is 0 0.8413. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.1587. Find px greater than 1.5. By standardizing it, we get pz greater than 1.5 minus 3 over 2. This is pz greater than minus 0 0.75. By symmetry, it is equal to pz less than 0 0.75. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.674. Find px less than 1. By standardizing it, we get pz less than 1 minus 3 over 2. This is pz less than minus 1. It is equal to 1 minus pz less than 1. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.1587. In this class, we learned how to standardize a normal distribution. x minus mu over sigma transforms a normal distribution to the standard normal distribution z.